I physically cannot take all these beautiful vases home, but I want to. So I am looking for the perfect well, new witch wand. For Christmas, all the happy smiles and the wishes, and I want it all from the Hi guys, and welcome back to Vlogmas. We're going to say episode six. This weekend is full of Christmas goodies. We are not at Scooters. We are at Starbucks. I passed by Scooters and the line was atrocious. And so the next best thing is Starbucks. I like Starbucks enough. Um, this particular one that I go to, I just kind of wish they would get it right. Um, my order is very plain and simple. It's a latte, non-fat milk, no foam. And they keep trying to put flavors in it. And I'm not a flavor girl. Not at all. Hi, good morning. I'd like a grande latte with non-fat milk and no foam. A grande cafe latte. Yeah. Non-fat. No foam. no foam. So while we're in line, I thought I would go over a couple of questions that I've gotten. Um, I am a nurse. I am a full-time nurse. I have had many um, nursing experiences throughout my career. Um, I went from staff nurse at a hospital to case management in a home to back oh, to procedure nursing in interventional radiology. And then I went to a surgeon office. And then I went back to the hospital during COVID surge. And then currently I am a nurse at a surgeon's office. So that's kind of how the flux of my career has been. I haven't always been a nurse. Um, before nurse, I was a stay-at-home mom and I used to do personal training. Nursing is not my first degree. It's my second degree. Um, my first degree is in art history and psychology. So that sums it up about me. <laughs> a couple of questions that I have been getting. I just thought um, we'd take a minute and answer those questions. Um, but speaking of work, I am on my way to work. We are early. Um, we are 30 minutes early because today I happen to have to reset for AC ACLS. Last week was BLS. This week is ACLS. We have to hurry up and get there. So I won't be late for my ACLS training. And then after about an hour and a half, that training will be done and we can get going to, to work, to clinic and start seeing patients. Afterwards, we, you and I, are gonna go to Home Goods. I bet that was the shocker. I bet that was the, you know, a surprise. <laughs> All right, guys, it's the end of the day and we're gonna go home. I was gonna, I'm gonna do my transition here because it's usually dark in the car right now. So I'm gonna see you when we go to Home Goods, okay? So I'll see you in just a minute. We are in Home Goods and I see all sorts of awesome uh, faces. I'm going to turn you around and show you what I see. I physically cannot take all these beautiful vases home, but I want to. I so want to. So they have such wonderful like display things. This one I'm absolutely loving. This one, I'm loving too. 
The only thing I would love is if it was black. So I might grab this one and paint it to black. So what do you think? I love this guy. It's very textured. For $16.99, I won't feel bad for painting it black. I like this one, and I love this one. This one's interesting, and this one has texture. But I cannot find that face that I was talking about, the one that kind of went like this. So we'll continue to look. Like this. This is really cute to put on the shelves. $16.99. I love this. And then I'm getting this for the coffee table. I like this guy. So this guy's coming home with me. I physically cannot take these all home, but I so want to. But this one's coming home with me. This one I'm going to put back. And this one, even though it's interesting, I'm going to put back. I'm going to take this one and paint it black, I think. And this one I'm going to put back. I have this for a display object. And then this guy here. And that is going to be super cute. This, this guy here is interesting. But I definitely am going to take, put this back. But he's interesting. I'm not a silver fan, but these are cute. And then these interlinking chains are cute. Hey Hannah, yep. would you care to take this to the back? Okay, I absolutely love this along with the Ilya serum. So, this is a really good alternative to foundation. So I am looking for the perfect nude, which one? Which look this is a good yeah I think this is going to be it. Just trying to find the perfect nude. So I'm obviously not at Hungus anymore. I'm at Ulta. And I'm getting a couple of things. Eye makeup remover, nail polish, and cotton pads. Let's go. Welcome to my neighborhood Goodwill. I love this store. I frequent it a lot. I usually head straight for the jackets and the shirts. I couldn't pass up this camel color coat and this gray colored coat. Had I not just purchased a coat from J. Crew, I would have picked this one up for sure. I'm just kicking myself. I should have picked up this coat jacket. Um, I think it's so adorable and looking back at this video I I'm just telling myself why didn't you pick that up 
what I'm doing right now and what I usually do is I look at the pictures and I'm looking for some canvas to paint on. I find repurposing these thrifted pictures, um, even if it was like a silk print on or silk screen on, I like to just reuse the canvas, but I didn't find anything. Thrift stores are also a great place to pick up coffee table books, but I didn't see any on this day. And in this particular Goodwill, right here in the corner, they have a bunch of oversized prints. I'm looking at this one in particular. Um, it was originally from Pier 1 for $149. I think they were selling it for, what, $16.49? I thought maybe perhaps I could repurpose it, but for the space I was going to paint a picture on, it was just way too large. It would look really cute painted black. Pottery barn. Look at these. These are gorgeous. Oh, yes, that's um, vintage for sure. Nice heavy glass. How much are they? Three sixty-seven. There you go. We need a Christmas tree holder. There's several of them. So just for giggles, let's look at the prices of the vases. Some goods are pretty relatively priced. And then you get something that you absolutely love. Let's see, in this face here, I'm not really finding anything really oppressive today. Uh, I'm just taking my time looking through all the shelves. I should have purchased these. I'm actually very upset that I did not pick these up to go into the booth. I'm thinking one of you guys would have loved those little trinket dishes from Avon. I spied these little butter molds here, but they looked fairly new to me. I don't know, comment down below. Should I pick those up or not? And here's what they had for Christmas. Looks like it was pretty picked over. I didn't find anything really, you know, to write home about. Those red mugs would look really cute for a tablescape, but too bad there was only three of them. Kind of just looking for some crystals. Um, crystal glass or crystal stemware tends to be kind of nestled in here and there. Again, looking at some white mugs. Uh, those were actually from Target Threshold brand. Um, not really seeing anything. I must have not have been in really a, a shopping mood this day because nothing really hit me that I needed to take home with me. I was spying this cast iron um, pot for about what $30, $29.99. Too bad I had a big old chip in it.
And before I leave, I always look over here in the purse section. I always find some coach purses here nestled in the rack. Alright guys, that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed our impromptu thrift <laughs> trip and then our little trip to Home Goods and a little trip to Ulta. I hope you guys enjoy your day. Happy Vlogmas. Remember to subscribe and hit the like button and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.